Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm Clifford here. A lot of prices have been fluctuating. Um, and we haven't done a market watch in a very, very, very long time. So I figured, what better opportunity than to do one now? Uh, so, with the release of the OCG ban list, quite a few things actually changed over here in the TCG. Uh, and it's kind of ridiculous. Um, as of two days ago, the cheapest BPO one Harpy Southern Star on eBay was $3.95. Uh, the next one, after that, was $11. Um, that's absolutely ridiculous for a rare. Um, lightly played... Um, SDD feather dusters were from 12 to 15 dollars, and this is all because of the OCG hype. And also, there was only one TB8 feather duster on eBay, and it was listed for 80 dollars. Only one. Um, if you guys have your TB8 dusters, you might want to drop them because that is ridiculous, um, especially for a card that's not even being affected over here in the TCG. Uh, next up, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Ultimate rares are going for 33 dollars. Um, Secrets still maintaining a decent margin, uh, but because this card came off in the OCG, and with no possible rata coming to the TCG anytime soon, uh, the OCG players kind of do want the bling. So, you're looking at 33 bucks for Chaos Emperor Dragon. Ultimate Ring Instructions are also up in price, uh, 15 bucks for them. Um, definitely not bad. The Secret's still minutely cheap. Crush Card Virus. So, Turbo Pack Rares are 15, Ultimates are 40, and Golds are 45. Um, there's also uh, SJC crushes listed on eBay right now, ranging from 1600 to 2500, um, which is really ridiculous in terms of overall cards um, and things. I guess a lot of people didn't expect this to come back, even with the Arata. It's still a really good card. Uh, next up, Snatch Deal Ultras are sitting at about 10 bucks. A uh, really solidly priced card. Um, Kind of expecting this to go down a little bit more. It's kind of on Regeki level right now. Uh, but once things settle a little bit more, uh, they'll begin to fluctuate back down. Reborn Tengu. Um, solid $5 card. Um, really not much else happened to him. I was honestly expecting him to be more uh, than what his actual price is, but it just kind of happens. Uh, next up is Virgil. Virgil's actually fell in price. They're sitting at roughly about 30 bucks right now. Uh, kind of shocked about that. Um, Arcanite Magicians also fell. Um, you can pick up an Arcanite now for 15 bucks. Uh, the Reign of Shadals are kind of over now. Uh, next up, Linde. Um, with Mermels kind of going up in price, uh, she's only 8 bucks. Uh, still kind of surprising about this. I was honestly expecting this to be a little bit more myself. Um, Dante's also, uh, they're going up. Um, Dante's are anywhere from 60 to 65. Meanwhile, Virgil's kind of going down in price. Kind of funny how that works. Also, Windows are going down to 15 as well. Um, she's beginning to slip. Um, maybe when they reach 10s, they'll be affordable and budget enough for players to pick up. And of course, uh, Armatile dropped from 12 down to 10. Uh, still a really solid card if you have these from the Legendary Collection. Um, just sitting in your dollar binder, the card is worth $10. Um, we all knew that Sanctum was going to fall. Uh, you can get Sanctums now for 10 bucks a piece now that Morale Tech is at 1. Uh, it was kind of a shame to see Morale Tech get destroyed so hard on the list, uh, but it kind of happened. And then Mischief of Yokai also have gone down in price. Uh, still a very solid 4 to $5 card. Um, as for things that you probably should drop, um, banlist related things like these, because once they do get the official rata in the States, they will get a reprint. Uh, that's pretty much given knowledge at this point in time. So if you have them, enjoy the free merits of getting the free value from them uh, to top things off. Uh, things you might want to consider picking up. A set of Tangus for 15 bucks uh, definitely isn't bad. Um, I don't know if we talked about the Dijin, uh, but these are down to 6 bucks, 5 bucks a piece, 5 6 um, whichever. If you're planning on building Necros, um, this is still a really solid card. Mondrews are only 4 bucks a piece as well. Um, so if you're prepping on getting that stuff, um, you might want to do so now. I don't think they're going to spike back up too heavily, but they could go up to 8 bucks or so. Um, if you're planning on getting artifact stuff, uh, I'd probably wait until Sanctum drops a little bit more. I don't think it's going to stay at 10. I don't think the card is really all that good at the moment. Um, but definitely Dante's might go up to 70. Um, I definitely think that they're back on their hype train because of all the new stuff that got released from the new set, uh, which I'll make in another video. Uh, but bear with me on that. So guys, leave a comment down below. 
like I said, this isn't everything that's changed. There's a lot of things that have changed in terms of prices and stuff. Uh, this is only a small scale of things. So leave a comment down below. Uh, help people out. These prices are usually based on Yu-Gi-Oh card prices and eBay and sometimes TCG Player. So we'll see how things go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.